you you get back out onto this big open battlefield and it's just like hell yeah the whole way you start you start fighting some truly massive uh, enemies and truly massive like uh, environment objects I guess you call it you'll see what I mean later um, but yeah it's really cool and then after that you start descending into like the pits of hell and then from there it just kind of becomes this like what the fuck are they going to throw at me next moment 25% attack speed bonus and they really know how to get my dick wet I mean yeah those guys sounded creepy Every now and then I catch like a couple seconds of audio of the uh, the music in this game and it's like it's the music is probably the most disappointing part of this game because Diablo 2 had one of the best video game soundtracks I guess for the type of video game it was specifically but it had one of the best video game soundtracks in terms of setting a tone and setting a feeling and the music was a much bigger part of the game obviously than the music is in this one but I mean, I guess the music is inoffensive and it's just there, but it's like, it feels like so generic, like such generic, like World of Warcraft music at this point. It's like, way to bring absolutely nothing new to this game, you guys. Normally, normally the Blizzard, uh, oh, the word, like, normally the Blizzard composers are fantastic pinnacles of being able to create, you know, emotional, exciting music for games but in this case it's just so not I feel like they stepped it up for the they stepped it up for the uh, for the expansion for act 5 but uh, it still just pales in comparison to the original games the, or the original first two games music no I will not do that yeah take out the boss. Gotta take him out. Wormhole is annoying and the walling is annoying, but other than that, they can't really do too much damage to me, so. Not too worried about fighting them guys. Yo, he got good real quick. Yeah, you're stuck in place. Sucks to be you. You're dead now. Congratulations on your 13 seconds of life. Actually, probably less, but whatever. You're a welcome sight, hero. Yeah, no shit I'm a welcome sight, because y'all can't do shit. Y'all ain't shit. Get him! Gotta get that guy first. While it is a cool monster design, I think between that and StarCraft II, Blizzard has uh, kind of gone a little overboard with the whole uh, enemies spawning out of a larger enemy's mouth or some type of worm enemy. And yeah, like, it's cool, but... It's been in every single one of their games that's come out for a while. What in the hells was that? An illusion. I wouldn't worry about it. We've seen the fires you've lit. Fear has no more hold on us. They're not the scared anymore because there's fire. Sides. Even but though they're being constantly by raped demons by demons. I will raise the catapults and send constantly Asmodan's and forever. Oh man. Drink some water here. Drink your water, kids. It's good for you. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Um, we are currently in the middle. We're in the uh, third act of a Diablo 3 hardcore virgin run through. Now, when I say virgin, I'm referring to the fact that I'm doing it solo with one character. I don't have... Uh, oh, God. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. No shit. Oh, we could have died right there in the description. Um, I don't have any help from any higher level guys. 
Um, it's just me against the world, pretty much. Um, not accepting any help. And uh, for those of you who don't know what hardcore is, hardcore is a uh, specific state you can put your characters in in the game where if they die, they do not respawn. So basically, if you die, you lose the character permanently. Um, so this character will die on stream at some point, whether it happens now or much later on, is uh, completely up to my skill and uh, what type of curveballs the game throws at us. So it's kind of a really cool, exciting way to do a stream. Um, I'm certainly enjoying it, um, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you do like what you see, definitely give us a follow. We do uh, streaming 10 times a week minimum. Uh, we stream Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is uh, Cali time for those of you who don't know. Um, we stream all sorts of different games. Last uh, last week we were streaming... Uh, if you need to be told which end of the sword goes where, you uh, have it. Last, not attention. last week, yesterday we were streaming Forza Horizon 2. Uh, which was a ton of fun. We actually thousand pointed the game on stream and it led to some really cool moments. Um, I actually made a highlight of it if anybody wants to check it out. But uh, yeah, we do a bunch of fun stuff on here, so hopefully you guys like what you see and decide to stick around and come back for more. Uh, let's see. Morbid's O2 in the stream is actually asking to license transfer the game, which is a way to basically share your game with other people. Uh, the problem is you have to share account information, so Hey, Morbids, thanks for jumping in the stream and ready, or jumping in the chat and talking to us. Unfortunately, I don't feel comfortable uh, doing license transfers with this game. I've actually had friends I trust ask me, and I still say no to them. So don't take it personal. It's just I don't feel comfortable doing stuff like that. So sorry, but you may not be able to find somebody to do that with you, but it won't be me. Uh, thanks for jumping in and saying hey, though. We do appreciate it. And yeah, this is a great game, so I definitely understand you want to play it. But it is, um, if you own an Xbox One, this game is 50% uh, off right now in the Xbox Online Store. Um, it's uh, $30 instead of 60 so if it's, a, if it's a price issue and you have an Xbox One, now be, may be the right time for you to pick it up. Um, I would have said the best time to pick it up probably would have been over the holiday season when you could have uh, gotten it for free by purchasing an Xbox One. Uh, that's actually how I got my copy of the Master Chief Collection was I just uh, got that as my free game along with the two games that came along with it, which was a great, a great holiday deal. The Xbox, uh, Microsoft really kind of pulled out all the stops to sell as many as possible. By lowering the price to 329 bucks for the console, that came with two Assassin's Creed games, and then you got a free game on top of that. Please that was a really cool... Me. Please your don't let them find you. Guard of the Keep. Come on. Ah, uh, she called him a coward. Me. That's funny. Uh, that was a really cool way to get a lot of people to pick up an Xbox. And I feel like this has been the killer app for the Xbox uh, One for the most part, because every single person I know has this game. And uh, granted, it's a great game to have. It's a super fun game, but... You know. So we're we just finished with signal fires, and we're actually trying to raise some catapults to help. Man, I really need to step up my game here instead of just concentrating on talking. Uh, we're going to be raising some catapults here to help uh, fighting on the battlefield, I guess. Um, so let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's already our objective. Fantastic. Did we miss one along the way? Uh, I don't think so. Next, or our first one will probably be just up around the corner here, I would think, because we've been we've been running along for a while here. Hey, we got a message from Moz Buzz. Uh, let's take a quick look. Ah, shit, I missed it. Also, it's distracting me, and I'm fighting a boss, so that that could be bad. It could be real bad. Um, the Xbox One version of this game compared to PC, I actually think the Xbox and the console versions, the Xbox and PC versions, are the superior product. Um, the game is streamlined for consoles, but not in such a way that it feels like it limits you a lot. Um, characters can't equip certain items, like Demon Hunters, for instance, cannot equip, um, you know, like, one or not one-handed weapon, can't equip melee weapons and stuff like that. Um, 
and the the upgrade mechanics in this game, or the uh, I should say the skill trees are uh, really optimized for controller control. Um, they kind of map like certain skills to certain buttons. So like X is always your defensive buttons and stuff like that. Um, you can you can change that out if you don't like that. You like being able to mix and match skills a lot by turning on an elective mode in the options, which just allows you to assign any skill to any button. So you do have you have a lot of good options for customization in this, just like in the PC version. Uh, although some of the uh, item equipping is limited, uh, the best adaptation I would say for this game uh, versus PC is the control scheme. The way they've um, adapted the control scheme. And uh, just some of the like quick buttons and stuff like that that they've adapted uh, for a controller are really they I mean they're they're additions to the game that I feel like you would miss if you were playing this a lot and went back to the uh, PC version. I feel like you would miss that. Um, uh, my favorite feature being the roll feature, which is tied to the uh, the right thumbstick. Uh, which gives you a couple invincibility frames and actually gives you a lot more mobility options in combat. Another cool thing is, um, uh, you know, there's no point and click here. It's all, your character movement is tied to an analog stick as opposed to clicking with a mouse, um, which kind of gives you a lot more control over your character's movement, which is a really cool feature and really kind of makes the game feel more personalized instead of just being like this top-down thing that, that you're controlling. It feels like you're actually playing your character as opposed to guiding your character. Um, and yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of cool features to this. I think it's the superior version. There, there will probably be people who will argue with me on that. But uh, that's just my opinion on there. Uh, let's see. We're starting to get a bunch of people in the chat here. I want to say hey to... Uh, IG Martian and De La Page. Hey, nice to have you in the chat. You Hope you're enjoying what you see. Uh, thanks for Help joining us here so in our uh, Diablo 3 Hardcore Virgin Run stream. Uh, looks like we got a new event here, so we'll be raising the catapult here shortly. Pop that there. Clear those guys out quickly and then head back over here. Hey, my cat's decided to join us. Is now completely obstructing my view of the screen. God damn it, cat, you son of a bitch. <laughs> One and two on PC, uh, but you're thinking of getting three on console? I would recommend getting three on console. Um, definitely. One and two are definitely PC only games. I know they released the first Diablo on the original PlayStation, and I'm sure that was a fucking nightmare to play. <laughs> um, but those were definitely PC games. I feel like after they adapted this one to console, both the uh, vanilla version and the expansion, I feel like this is the best way to play it. Yeah, you know, one of my favorite things about playing this game on console as well is that I can just lay back on my couch and kind of have it, you know, a chillaxed game with my friends. Whereas um, on the PC, you know, you have to be kind of hunched over a PC, which, you know, some people prefer to play games that way. But I like being able to sit back and relax and not have to... I hate continuing to use the word hunch, but not having to hunch over a screen and, you know, sit up and everything like that. Like, I'm playing this game, and I'm streaming it, and I'm laying on my couch right now. Uh, let's see, Della Page is asking about... Um, Asking about if you can play online with friends. Yes, there is a robust online mode. You can play with up to four friends uh, online. There's actually another fantastic feature about this game is the uh, the couch, the local co-op. You can play with up to four friends, I think, on the same couch um, in the same house. And that's actually one of my preferred ways to play the game. Uh, my buddy X07 in the chat there, he hasn't said anything in a while. He's probably busy With doing dumb bullshit. And the uh, on the but uh, he key. used Just to live by home. me. He's actually moved since we Even last played help. this game together. Thank but um, we played the vanilla version of Diablo 3 on console, like in my house together, and it was some of the most it was some of the most fun I've had gaming in a very long time. Is just playing a local co-op game of Diablo 3 with my buddies. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this game is the total package in terms of online co-op. Uh, you still got the competitive, like, Battlegrounds you can play if you're into that. Um, and with the greater rifts and everything that's been added by the expansion, the Paragon points, this game, this game can be one game that you pick up and just play, like, almost exclusively. 
I mean, you could you could play this game pretty much at infinium if you wanted. Man, damn it, I got caught up on barrels there. So.